So I know it might seem a little too early to start thinking about spring summer because we haven't even technically hit winter yet but for those of us that are in the fashion industry and have fashion careers we've already started thinking about spring summer and if you haven't yet you'll want to start now. So here are the spring summer trends of 2022 which I received all this information from WGSN. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with a new video. So let me get into the spring and summer 2022 trends because it is right around the corner. These are going to be trends for both men and women. I'm going to go through some of the key colors that are going to be very popular spring summer. I'll talk about some of the key items that WGSN talked about as well as the themes that they created because they always create themes to paint that picture of the trends for you. So each of the themes they've labeled as conceptual or commercial or somewhere in the middle of the two. So it gives you an idea of what themes may fit your brand depending on you know what style your brand is so like conceptual is usually more of the high-end stuff is a little more out there designer level thing and then you have commercials which usually is what you would see in stores like the ready to wear and then you have somewhere in the middle for those of you that try to do a little of each and then I'll throw in of course a few tips at the end for you guys on spring summer trends so let me go ahead and start this with the colors so the colors for spring Spring summer 2022 are warm colors, a lot of muted colors I noticed. There's a lot of seasonal colors but also trans seasonal. I noticed with a lot of the trends for spring summer 2022, a lot of the trends are trans seasonal meaning it can transition from one season to another so spring to summer, summer to fall type of thing because a lot of people are kind of spending a little less, buying a little less so they want items that can transition from season to season. Some of the top colors that I noticed according to WGSN was Orchid Flower, Mango Sorbet, Honeycomb, and then an Artist Red. And then of course Pantone, if you guys don't know what Pantone is, they're the creator of those color codes, that universal code that everyone can use to relate to the same color. They always come out with their trend reports as far as colors. So I just want to quickly show you the colors that they've chosen for spring, summer of 2022 and then you'll also have the Pantone numbers as well. Now that we've gone through the colors, we're going to start talking about women's. And before I get into the themes, I'm going to throw out some of the key items that they're noticing will be trending for spring summer 2022. One of the key items is the anorak jacket. A-line dresses and A-line skirts are also going to be very popular. A retro sweatshirt, which when we get into the themes, you'll understand more what I'm talking about and why. The bodycon dress is supposed to be very popular next year spring summer a summer vest remember we're focusing on trans seasonal so a summer vest is going to be very popular and we know vests are also usually popular in fall back to school season crafted accessories and shoes so people are starting to get creative with their items and then the mule is supposed to be very popular next year spring summer 2022 so now let's get into the women's themes and the first First theme is the Explorer. The Explorer is supposed to be more of a conceptual theme so keep that in mind when I'm showing this but of course you can take all of these themes and make it into the category you need. This is supposed to just set the tone. So the Explorer is more of an edgy masculine type of look. This is a really good inspiration for streetwear. So again you can take these concepts and make it into more of a commercial look if you are more on the commercial side. But the Explorer is more about graphic tees, utility pants, heavy metal zippers, chunky sneakers, bold dark colors as you guys can see in the theme is really that edgy look but a little more on the masculine side. So the next theme for women's is the house partier. So we know the pandemic everyone was stuck in the house but 
people are starting to step outside now well we've been stepping outside but 2022 is that time where everyone's really outside and they're stepping outside to turn heads not to just be outside so some of those key items for the house partier is the body contrast the dresses are coming back then you got crop tops and corsets corsets is one of those items that's supposed to be really big for next year and then of course the a-line dress a-line skirt this theme is a little more you know flirty feminine type of look so you have a lot of lace trims scalloped edges you know that feminine vibe and then as far as the colors they're the, those soft feminine colors the house partier as far as their scale of commercial to conceptual it's in the middle so you can kind of gear this towards either end of the spectrum the next theme we have is the craft core raver which is a conceptual theme but this theme is taken that edgy look plus the whole feminine flirty look and putting them both together so you'll notice a lot of oversized knitwear those matching sets and a lot of sandals worn with this look you'll have a lot of floral prints embroidery quilting and then the colors tend to be bold and bright and then for theme number four the nostalgic resorter and this is a commercial theme so those of you on the commercial level this will be for you this whole look is a vintage type of vibe, the whole vintage look, a lot of resort wear. You have the soft wide leg pants and maxi dresses are key for this theme. You'll have those wallpaper type of floral looks. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but you know, the let's think like back in the 60s when the wallpaper was popular and it was those floral looks. That is what you're going to see on clothing for this theme. A lot of sun hats, those silk printed scarves, or it can be like a mesh scarf too because it is summertime, springtime. And then a lot of soft colors mixed in with some neutrals. Next we have the romantic romantic gardener which is another commercial theme and this one is like a vintage feminine look and very romantic as the theme title suggests you have the a-line dresses the smocked mini dress some of the key trims and details are the floral appliques crochet trims and like the ditzy floral print so you might have the regular floral print but this one is the ditzy so the little smaller floral prints and then for the last theme for women's is the happy camper which is in the middle of the spectrum when it comes to commercial versus conceptual now the happy camper is more practical is more comfortable and more casual so here we go with our casual theme because a lot of the other ones were more feminine and flirty so some of the key items here are the anorak jacket joggers and a lot of matching sets I don't know if you guys have noticed but matching sets uh, seems to fit in with a lot of these themes and then for the happy camper you have a lot of color blocking and a lot of ombre but those are the six themes as far as women's for spring and summer 2022 trends so now let's go into the men's themes men's has seven themes so I'm giving the men's a little bit more some of the key items for men's are the resort shirt so think about those Hawaiian beachy type of shirts a premium hoodie so not just the standard hoodie you can go into regular stores and get but the men want hoodies of quality now so ladies that's them letting you know to stop stealing their hoodies and then the pocket t-shirt so a t-shirt with just a pocket on it the knit sweatshirt utility tr utility tr oh man why can't I say this utility trousers jogger shorts a casual slide we know Yeezy and their slides are taking over so the men want their casual slides a loafer is also another common shoe for spring summer 2022 and then of course sneakers so for the first men's theme is the urban gardener so the women's have their gardener look the men's has one as well and this is on the commercial end of the spectrum the whole vibe of this is natural holistic you know that nature vibe here we're talking about gardener so a lot of collared shirts trousers utility vest anorex utilitarian shoes or sneakers i should say woven sandals birkenstocks are some of the key items for the urban gardener for men's spring summer 2022 some of the key details and trims is like camo and tie-dye looks and a lot of the colors are on the 
earth tone side. Theme number two for men's is the Smart Comfort Seeker. And this is somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, so this can go either way, commercial or conceptual. But just like the women's had their whole comfort look, the men's has one as well. But when I look at this theme, I just think of Yeezy. That's all I see here is Yeezy. So some of the key items is the premium hoodie, jogger pants, cardigan, leather sandals, mules, loafers and moccasins. The colors here for this theme is also earth tones but then there's a mix of a little bit of those muted colors as well. And theme number three the hedonist which is in the middle of the spectrum again and this whole look is a vibe. It's just like very edgy and out there. So some of the key items here are the matching sets. Men's have matching sets too. Resort shirts those flowy tr trousers, so think spring on the beach flowy trousers for men. Loafers, sandals, mules. There's a lot of florals and graphic prints with this theme. So it's giving me like a resort wear type of vibe, but very edgy, very out there. This man doesn't really care what other people think about him. He doesn't care about if this is taken away from his masculinity. He's wearing what he's comfortable wearing. And then a lot of the colors are very bright. Next, we have the Country Clubber, which is in the middle of the spectrum. And this is very preppy, so think Lacoste. So you have like those short sets, swim sets. Of course, we gotta have the swim trunks with this theme. A lot of loungewear, the knit polo, track pants, suede shoes, espadrilles, boat shoes, of course, tennis shoes with this whole preppy look, and then also loafers. Some of the key details is the high waistline, embroidery, kind of sporty since you have that tennis look in there. Of course, premium fabrics because these guys really care about their clothing and how they look. Very tailored and color coordinated. They have to be matching. A lot of the colors are more like the watercolors and pattern blocking is big with this theme. And then theme number five for men's is the psychedelic look, which is on the commercial end of the spectrum. And this is very hippie vintage vibe. So you have the matching sets, the printed match accessories so you know have prints on the clothes and the accessories also have prints too those reworked jeans so think thrifted cargos sandals hiking sneakers and Birkenstocks some of the key details is like the fit is more boxy gives you more of an upcycle type of look it's very retro so like the 1960s vibe is a lot of 60s going on for spring summer 2022 and then a lot of patchwork too the colors seem very very deep and then there's also a lot of tie-dye because we're going with the hippie look. Theme number six for men is the innovative minimalist. This is on the conceptual end of the spectrum. And this is very sleek, professional type of look. People are back at work. They're not just working at home anymore. So they need a professional look, but they still want to be comfortable just like they were when they were working at home. So it's like bringing those two together with this theme. Think everyday sportswear meets performance. So you have a lot of button downs here because we're trying to keep it professional. You have the tailored jackets, suiting, loafers and nylon sneakers there's also in the picture like some rubber boots in there too that's i guess supposed to be bringing more of the comfort side but a lot of the key details is like the sweat wicking those performance fabrics antibacterial fabrics and a, just an overall clean look no prints solid colors a lot of the colors are very neutral but then you have those hints of very bright colors like that lime green that's in the picture so for the last theme for the men's spring summer 2022 is the fidgetal list which is a conceptual theme it's on the conceptual end of the spectrum they're actually calling this the cyber punk wear look so it's like the gamer theme if you want to put it into correct terms think of gamers so there's a lot of graphic tees and cargos resort shirts and then sneakers and sandals i guess it just depends on which one the guy's more comfortable in some of the key details is glow in the dark a lot of gamers tend to game in the dark for some reason. And then you have a lot of iridescent and metal. And then a lot of exact.
exaggerated details just go all out with it pretty much and then the colors there's a lot of bright colors but don't miss out on the black there's a lot of black in this theme as well so those are all the men's trends for spring summer 2022 so just a few tips to throw out to you guys that are already looking into your spring summer buy or either you're already in the process of designing for spring summer 2022 we're at a point where our consumers are buying off emotion now so 80% of the decisions that they're making are based off of emotion so put your heart into whatever styles you're either designing or buying because people are buying off emotion so let's just think that last theme I was just talking about with men were focused on gaming so we have to make sure those items are really speaking out to them as a gamer because just because they're so into gaming that's where you know their passion is they'll buy based off of emotion and then a lot of the looks and a lot of the items that consumers will be buying they're still looking for comfort but they're also going out more now so you have to keep that in mind people still want to be comfortable but they're also going out so they do want to dress up a little bit and now that we're going into 2022 people especially women are dressing up a lot more and then something I noticed in this presentation as I was watching the virtual presentation a lot of the throwbacks are coming back people are excited about the throwbacks I don't know if it has something to do with the pandemic and we've had like you know virtual that's bringing back the old music and stuff like that but we're reminded of a lot of things from the past and now those trends are starting to come back too and then lastly if there's any piece of advice I can give you for spring summer 2022 is that less is more people may be spending less buying less but they want more for their money or people are spending and don't care about that but they want their clothing to be sleek and simple versus too out there except for some of those themes like the exaggerated details those men need that but less is more on some of these themes so keep that in mind also at when I was watching the presentation they also talked about you know consumers buying less so don't buy too much or don't design too much because people aren't spending as much remember they're focused more on trans seasonals so some of the stuff they may buy in spring summer they'll keep for fall which means they're not spending as much because they're going to carry those new items into the next season but that's it for spring summer any updates I'll do an updated video on any themes that I can think of or any trends that I notice that stand out to me the closer we get to spring summer. Thank you guys for watching.